we've got to get back to the basic. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. Part of a healing to take place. You preach. Part of a prophecy to bring change. Yeah. My message tonight, God say prophecies of change. The voice of change. But all of us will be the voice of change. We got to get that nature of God. Amen. Come on, say amen. Amen. If God pleads with your life, then everything you say, it comes to pass. You got to walk a straight and narrow life. Y'all come on, say amen. I'm not trying to be a woman. Amen. And a storm gonna sneak up on us. Promise that. They're gonna come unexpectedly. But no more. They're gonna take us. The Lord spoke to me, he said, son, he warned my people. Let them know that the way to sin is death. Yeah. Bishop, he gave me a revelation. Yeah. He said, son, let them know that I'll be ready to move grace and mercy. Okay. And that they'll get ready to catch up with folks' sins. My God. I know you're right. I know you're right. The way to sin is death. Right. So the reason back in the day when people were sinning, when nothing happened to them, God gave me time to repent. Right. They know never repented. So God got tired. Yeah. So now he's moving grace and mercy. My God. Now death is on the rampage. And it's getting ready to catch up with folks. Amen. Now, remember, the Bible said the way to see it as well. Yeah. So that's why you hear about a lot of death now, because right. death is catching up with folks. Amen. Folks don't even have time to repent. Come on. When they used to didn't have time to repent, death caught up with. My aunt went to the computer one morning, found it dead in the computer. Wasn't sick at all. I'm not saying that she was insane, I don't know. It's on the rampage. It ain't over yet. It ain't over. I know y'all quiet in here. You all know you're quiet in here. You have to give her prophecy in you. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. God give you a miracle. 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 Yeah, give you a miracle. I see, I don't know, but I see an older lady at Casper. God, thank you, Lord Jesus. Y'all didn't pray. You didn't encourage me, but she gave it up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. God of the pain. Amen. Be of the pain. You will get your peace. peace. You will get your peace. Bless 
it on you. God told me to tell you, he's going to use you to prophesy and preach this gospel. And I don't know what get ready to take place, but I see you going to Chicago, Illinois. Don't know what that means to you, but God's going to open a major door in Chicago, Illinois. And you want to go there, and God's going to use you like a whirlwind. Oh, the Lord shall. Jesus, Jesus. You've been through enough hell. You've been in the trials, on the trials, on the trials. But it was your making. It was your making. And God said that He's taking you from a and He's giving to make your prophet. Come on, shout glory. He put something in you. 